Switch to Verizon Fios for America's fastest, most consistent, most reliable internet. We are exactly 100 days away from Super Bowl 48 at MetLife Stadium. The Jets are the only local team with a chance to make it at this point with a 4-3 and three record. Gang Green travels to Cincinnati on Sunday looking for back-to-back -back wins for the first time all year. It's been an up-and-down season to say the least for Geno Smith and company, and this week's game will be another difficult challenge. The Bengals are 5-2 and two on the year and undefeated at home. Both Geno Smith and Rex Ryan know what's in store for this weekend. Well, this is going to be a huge challenge for us. I mean, obviously, you know, the Bengals are 3-0 and at home with wins over Pittsburgh, Green Bay, and New England. So that, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's uh, going to be another challenge for us. And, um, you know, we've got, to, we've got to prepare ourselves for it, uh, another tough fall game, hard fall game. You know, we're going into a tough environment, a really good defense, um, you know, really good offense. So we're going to have to bring our A game. Wide receiver Santonio Holmes will miss Sunday's game with an injured hamstring, and the Giants travel to Philadelphia for their second meeting with the Eagles this month. Running back Brandon Jacobs is doubtful, also with a hamstring injury. Philadelphia beat Big Blue three weeks ago at MetLife Stadium. Michael Vick was injured during that game, but not before he dominated the Giants with 79 rushing yards in the first half alone. The Eagles quarterback missed the last two weeks with a pulled hamstring, but he has practice all week. Now the Eagles won't confirm if Vick is starting but he does sound ready to go. If I'm out there, I mean, I'm, I'm giving it everything I got. And okay. There's no holding back. I never go out in the game and uh, limit myself to what I can do unless I've really made up my mind to play that way. The key to stopping the Eagles is, um, you know, to go out and play as a team. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not about Michael Vick. It's, uh, you know, it's never, he's not, he's not going to beat us by himself. As for baseball, the World Series continues tomorrow night in St. Louis. The Cardinals and Red Sox are all tied at one game apiece. And last night at Fenway Park, Commissioner Bud Selig presented Mariano Rivera with the Commissioner's Historic Achievement Award. The recognition honors Mariano's historic accolades. And while accepting the award, the greatest closer ever hit all the right notes. It's an honor and a privilege to receive this award uh, with such a dignity in class because that's the way I, I respect the game. I, that's the way I, I play the game, and uh, I still will continue loving the game the way I play the game. And no one played the game better than Mariano. Great honor for him. Yeah. This is a class act all the way around. All right, thank you, Harry. Thanks, Harry. NBC Nightly News is next. And we certainly thank you for joining us. We hope you have a great weekend.